Hey, so um, I'm uh, I'm stopped right now. I'm I'm making it a new thing where I don't um, drive while I'm recording, um, but I'm still in my car. Interestingly enough, um, uh, yeah. Uh, basically, uh, I got called uh, Sunday night to leave early to Florida. Well, I guess on time, you know. Kind of, kind of like the, the the Gandalf thing, you know. Wizard, this never early. He arrives precisely when he means to. It's like, well, that's that's God, you know. It's when it's time, it's time, and um, we can't really make the plans. I, that's that's part of this whole thing. We 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 could try, but like, it, unless God is telling us that this is gonna happen exactly this way, we're sure of it, and uh, can't really make the plans. Um, that's why that's why we're supposed to say, you know, God willing this, this, and this, tomorrow this will happen. That's how we're supposed to say things. That's what we were told by Jesus. Um, because you don't know what tomorrow holds. Worry about today, stuff like that. And you don't even know what today holds. <laughs> um, and so, yeah, this sticker is like, this is from a job I used to work. I don't even know why it's still there. I guess now I remember it because I could see it through the recording, but ADHD, I guess, if that's what you want to call it. Um, but, yeah, um, I, I left early. Um, I was awake for 36 hours at one point. Um, my car uh, broke down, sort of, in Kentucky. It was starting to. And uh, I followed some signs. Everyone was talking about this place called Bojangles. I feel like it's the best chicken place ever, um, back where I'm from. And, uh, and uh, I went to try it. And, uh, well, I went to go like take the exit because I saw this sign that said Zaxby's. I'm like, huh, Zaxby's chicken. You know, I remember how everyone's talking about Bojangles chicken, and then right after that, the next uh, exit sign said Bojangles chicken, and I was like, "Okay, I guess I gotta go to Bojangles chicken now." And I, I go there the whole time. My car's like rickety, you know, like something's not right with it. I'm like, I'm, I'm like praying. I'm like, God, please get me, please get me to Florida. Please don't let this break down on the highway. Please, just let me get there. Um, and I basically I end up. Um, I stop at a Walmart, I have a conversation with some Christian guy, and then he, he, you know, he says, well, we can't take your tires off because they're not the standard ones for your car, and, like, Walmart has these weird policies. I'm like, yeah, because the ones that are recommended for this car, they get bubbles because of potholes and stuff like that, so I went to, so that's why I got bigger ones. Um, so I went to uh, this tire place, so it's, like, literally specific. I saw before I went into Walmart, I'm like, this is very specifically for my situation, this this car shop, and I just happened to be driving right next to it, and it's, like, a big one, too, so they can work on multiple cars at a, at a time, and so I, I get there, um, I, I talk to him, I'm like, yeah, I've got cats in the car, um, because I took my cats with me, I packed everything up and went, and, like, everything I could fit in my car went, and this, the amp was important. Um, I almost went without it, and the guy's like, no, we're going to find a way to fit that amp. And I'm like, okay, we are doing music. That is a thing. We are going to do something with music, and you'll see. You will see. Um, so, um, God willing, you'll see. <laughs> uh, so, um, yeah, I had to take my cats into the auto place with, like, in their carrier and stuff, and he was petting them and stuff, he loved them, but he was, like, a very serious guy, but he was able to, like, pull so many strings to get my vehicle fixed, like, and he's like, oh, we've got exactly the two tires you need for their back, uh, tires, because I, and that's what I came for, I was like, well, it must be the tires, and he's like, no, dude, like, your, your calipers, like, your buddy who did your brake job forgot to, like, put the the bolt in. I'm like, oh, uh, yeah, that would be a problem. Um, and I remembered why he forgot is because he was vaping marijuana and, uh, he started to forget things as soon as he started to do that. Um, he was doing a good job. Uh, you know, he's very, very intelligent, very good with his hands, but I think that's why he forgot. Uh, I'll be honest. That's why he forgot. Um, had he not done that, I don't believe he would have forgot. Um, but yeah, they, they had to do that. They said that, like, the wheel was about to come off, and if I didn't stop, then it would have came off, and it was, like, good that I stopped. And they had exactly the amount of tires that I needed. Um, they, um, at the, at the, the office thing, it said, uh, smile, Jesus loves you. Um, and, um, 
it said something about being saved and stuff like that. And uh, yeah, I, just, I pointed that out to the guy, and he was like so serious. I don't know if he just doesn't talk about what he believes there, or if that wasn't his post, but he didn't seem that impressed by it. <laughs> but anyways, like I just thought of like the whole addiction thing and stuff like that. And then I started when I'm I'm sitting in the waiting room, and everything on the TV is about addiction and like rehab centers and stuff. And I'm like, wow, okay, that's kind of funny how that works. Um, hair starting to stick up. I got a water cup here. <laughs> um, yeah, and so I, I look across the street and guess what, what restaurant's there, Bojangles. So I go to try it and uh, completely overrated. It's just like generic, kind of spicy chicken, not very good, and Chick-fil-A is much better. Um, I continue the trip after they fix it. They either fix it in a couple hours. They tell everyone else, like, oh, it's going to be till tomorrow, basically, or like four hours of waiting before we can even get your car in. But for me, they got it in right away. And it took a couple hours. And, you know, I'm tired because I did not sleep. I woke up at 9 a.m. Sunday. And um, this was like 12, 10 to 12 p.m. or so Monday. Um, Sunday to Monday so like I was up for over 24 hours at this point and you know when you stop when you're driving it's like okay now it's slowing down everything's slowing down and I had coffee like I started to drink coffee and stuff to help me keep going but eventually I I end up at the point where I'm like I'm in Alabama and I'm like I'm starting to talk and my my words are going forward but they're like coming back at me and I'm like, yeah, I'm starting to get to the point where I'm hallucinating. And when I, around like 35 hours, I'm like, it's. And then I'm talking to my Discord buddies. I'm like, I need you guys to keep me sane. And then they're like, uh, you know, you need to pull over and go to a hotel and get some sleep. And so I did that. I, and uh, yeah, I did that. Um, cats, you know, we, we made it. We made it through. <laughs> um, um, and uh, then the next day, um, I'm going, um, you know, because the hotel had me, like, veer kind of in a different direction. And I end up in Troy, Alabama. Troy, Alabama. Um, and I'm like, huh, Troy, that's funny. That's kind of like, you know, how the, the walls in, in the city of Troy got breached. And it's kind of like, you know, how the walls of Jericho fell down. And uh, Joshua walked around it for seven days. He probably looks like a buffoon for, like, seven days until eventually God tells him to shout and the trumpets and the walls come down that whole thing um yeah i, I went there and uh kind of see a chick-fil-a there's a chick in there's a chick-fil-a exit and uh i i meet someone who has my my name and i say well it's funny that uh you know the city and our name and he's like oh yeah i know what you're talking about yeah that is poetic stuff like that <laughs> and so we got along but I got Chick-fil-A and it was delicious and uh, and uh, then from there I'm driving and uh, remember how I said uh, I think I said it here where um, I saw this guy with this uh, sweatshirt in Chipotle back in Cleveland and it said I'll see you in paradise and I thought I was like pointed out why is that important and I started to kind of associate it with uh, Florida and uh, I added the song Welcome to Paradise by Green Day, and, uh, you know, I'm just listening to music, uh, just listening to music in my playlist, and, uh, guess what song is playing, like, you know, how the playlist goes through, I didn't plan this, guess what song is playing exactly as I get to the point where my maps is like, Welcome to Florida, Welcome to Paradise is playing, and it's like, okay, uh, that's funny, that's so funny, um, there are so many signs, it's ridiculous, and people who don't believe me, I don't care, because I know something is happening, and I know that it's my year. This is my year, finally. This is my year. And people who have been doubting me, doubting everything I'm saying, saying, you're crazy, you're crazy, God wouldn't want you to do that, God wouldn't want you to do that. Just wait and see. Wait and see. I know I, I sound very energized right now, but it's like, after so much of a beating, you would understand but I believe what God tells me I believe I believe it's faith and um I get here and um <clears throat> I tell the, the waitress uh about my 
my dreams and stuff. And she says, uh, she pays for my, um, well, first she writes on a, on a, a notepad or, you know, napkins from like the, the restaurant. Um, it was a breakfast place and she wrote down, um, follow that dream by Elvis. And this was right after my, uh, roommates were talking about Elvis and stuff and how he had a twin brother. And I never knew that. Um, my grandparents named their dog Elvis <laughs> and, uh, um, and so I, I, you know, I do listen, I'll, I'll, that song's, it's a good song, no, lyric-wise, you know, he's got a good voice too, obviously, um, but, um, so, uh, she wrote that down, and she, she paid for my meal, and, and then, uh, she said, pay it forward when you make it, and she, she handed me a, a Christmas card too, that said, basically, it, it basically said, welcome home. It said something along those lines, and it's like everything, you know, you hear that song, Welcome, um, I'll Be Home for Christmas. Well, home is wherever God is leading you to be, um, and for me, that is here. Um, I'm home right now, um, you know, as far as my earthly home. Um, I'm also in heaven in, like, a, a way that's, like, indescribable. I'm seated in heavenly places, like every true believer is, so that's another thing to think about, but... Um, yeah, so it's just like I'm the music thing is gonna happen. It's gonna happen somehow. And it's gonna take a lot of work, a lot of work, um, but it's gonna happen. Um, I'm gonna find my people here, or for anyone who's who's uh, willing to hear the sound of my voice. If anyone feels the call to come here, you will be blessed if you come here. That's. I could show you the song that says it, um, from the captions from the song. You'll be blessed if you come here. God pointed that out to me specifically. Um, actually, I'd have to find the song because I don't even remember what song it was, but it was, it was in one of them. Um, you'll be blessed if you come here. Um, to whoever hears that and wants to respond. It's beautiful here. There's really, the only downside is it costs a lot of money to be here. But everything else, safe neighborhood, um, beautiful. Um, it was like 68, 69 degrees today um, in December. Uh, and it was beautiful. Like, I, I got out of the gym and uh, I didn't have my sweatshirt on. And I had, I, I thought of it, I was like, wow, I, I would have forgot if I didn't. I almost forgot about to get it because, like, I, that wouldn't have happened in Cleveland. You'd walk out, you'd be freezing. But, like, here you walk out, you're comfortable without a sweatshirt on. It's like, oh, okay. Um, and, uh, yeah, I got everything, like, everything's done, like, in order. I got my, um, got my license plate, got my Florida ID, got my state car transfer title thing, um, got my car fixed up more here, because I had to get fixed up more. I had a lot of things to do that I, you know, are annoying, um, apply to food stamps, because I'm going to need some financial aid, <laughs> but we're going to get through this, and, uh, I have ways, I have methods, um, I have money invested that I can withdraw, um, so I'll, I'll be okay, um, and I believe that my friends will help me. I'll get by with a little help from my friends. Anyone knows that Beatles song? Um, that's another one that's been pointed out to me. You know, just song starts playing in my head, and I'm like, okay, why is that song playing in my head all of a sudden? So, yeah. Um, another one, uh, Event Sevenfold. I'm not insane. I'm not insane. <laughs> Lots of songs about dreams and following them, chasing them. Um, Lots of songs about being crazy to everyone else, but um, I'm not insane. I just follow Jesus. Um, and uh, everything works good for those who love God. Um, even the things that seem bad at the time, they'll turn out for good. And um, there are things with my roommates that are so... They, they even said, they're like, 
I, we we believe that you prayed and this was the place you were led to because we needed you. Like there are all these situations that um, they needed my help to because um, just I'm not gonna go into detail. Um, I don't think because I don't I don't think that's really yeah. But they they need help too. So it's a good thing because um, they were going to move, but now they're able to stay and they needed to stay to help who they needed to help. And so, yeah, and then my roommates have some eerily similar situation to me. Um, is it time for me to reveal that? No, not yet. Um, but let's just say God is working all things for good. And uh, there are astonishing amounts of signs. Astonishing. It's, it's more than anything that I've had my whole life, and it's all happening now. This is my year. Um, this is my year. This is the year where things happen finally. Um, things that I've said were going to happen are going to happen this year, I believe. Um, something about being locked away, too. I, I have a feeling that that's going to happen to somebody um, for their own good. Um, we will see. Um, we will see what happens. God, you know, that, that song also mentions, um, you know, would you still love me, you know, basically struggling through, like, poverty, like, poverty, well, you know, harder times, not, you know, stuff like that, and, uh, yeah, you gotta love someone, regardless of the situation they're in, whether they're in jail or whatever, if you actually love someone, you'll stick around, uh, stuff like that, um, yeah, um, so, yeah, basically, I you know I just got done doing some uh, deliveries here. Uh, I, I have my insurance too, so you don't gotta worry about that. I got had to switch my insurance. We're all set. We are set. We are a Florida um, resident. Um, this is home. Um, at least until God calls us to the road someday. Um, yeah home. Um, my cats uh, are adjusting. Um, they, I think they're okay. They're, they're doing okay. They, they've got an outdoor cat at the house that had been visiting them prior to prepare them for my cats because um, they said that the lady there is allergic to cats and I was like, well, there's no way this is the place, but she's had no problem with my cats. She even said specifically like, oh yeah, this, this, your cats are like this, this, and this type. Yeah, I don't have allergies to those, that type. And it's like, I, I don't know. Um, I have not seen her like sneeze or anything like that, I, so I don't know. I, we'll see. It seems okay so far. They don't come out of my room too much yet, but they're starting to. You know, it's been a few days. They're starting to get a little more curious and explore a bit. The dogs get jealous. The cats get jealous of each other, but they get along okay. Um, and, uh, yeah, it's, uh, this is fun. This is a lot of fun. Um, yeah, it's a lot of fun. Um, and I, I'm not worried about my security deposit and not being able to get it. It's fine. If I can't get it, it's fine because it, I had to leave. It was time to leave. And if I have to lose 2500 for that, then that's fine. I'll get by. If God says I can, I'll can, make it by, then I'll get by without it. Um, Yeah, and I, I'll, I'm trying to get people to help, you know, I'll, I'll pay people to help if they have to, to help their parents and stuff, because I feel bad that they're going to have to move some of that stuff out themselves. And, but I've got people who want to buy stuff still, so I'm sending them, like, okay, you, you want to buy stuff or you want the stuff for free, go in and take it out, because I don't want that stress for my family and stuff. And I hate that I had to leave them. That, the whole time that's been, like, they're going to be so pissed, they're going to be so pissed, they're going to be so pissed. But they know now, finally. Um, I don't know why I had to wait until today to tell them. Um, my neighbor, um, she's, she, she freaked out at me. She was like, uh, can you get your mail? It's like overflowing. And I was like, yeah, uh, my parents will get that. And then she, and then she said, uh, 
she said, you're a grown ass man, why can't you get your own mail? And I was like, well, I, you know, after I said I moved away, she was like, well, you're a grown ass man, why can't you get your own mail? I'm like, um, I can't teleport to get my mail, I'm in Florida. Uh, so, yeah, and I had, I had dreams before I left that my neighbors were like demons. That, that's what they were in my dream. I'm sorry, I was flying above them and they were like demons. That's, it's, it's, it's bad, but that's, that's what I dreamed. Um, they weren't the neighbors that I was to grow to love and stuff like that. Because I've had a dream about that and th these are not them. Um, they are demonized. Uh, she, in particular, is into witchcraft, uh, smoking, you know, stuff like that. Um, yeah. Um, and my other neighbor, you know, you have to walk on eggshells around your own house because he can't handle that and he can't handle dorm door slamming because that's like an earthquake. My roommates here are like, yeah, we don't blame you for moving away from there. That's ridiculous. They, they they haven't complained like I, I even was playing guitar on the amp they're like yeah we can't even hear you go ahead jam on you know <laughs> someone said turn it up and I was like yeah I'll turn it up when I get a little better um, <laughs> it's so funny though um, yeah they they're, they're nice they're nice um, they have faith like like they have a weird amount of faith like I wouldn't say that they have the works yet but they have a strong amount of faith and I think God will honor that. Um, you know, he'll honor that, I believe. Um, they're going through struggling times and, and those are the times when God can move really good. If you're humble and you know, like, I need your help, God, that's when he moves. Um, the, the bad times can be good in different ways. Um, I think I'm about done with this video. Um, yeah, I'm ready to go home or to DoorDash or whatever more if uh, if I get any more orders. But I don't I don't know if I will tonight. Um, yeah. <laughs> God bless you all. And if anyone if anyone feels the call to come here, and I know you. If I legitimately know you, we're not playing that game where you pretend you're someone you're not, and uh, and then you try to get personal information from me. No, if I know you, then you, I'll I'll tell you where I am. Um, but if I don't know you, I'm not gonna have you dox me, give away my personal information. No, no, we're not playing that game. And uh, just. You pretending to be someone you're not, um, I, let's stop play, playing the petty games. That's not going to work out for your, in your favor. Um, I'm not saying I'm going to do anything. No, um, I just believe that vengeance is God's and, you know, you keep playing games and something's going to happen to you. Um, I got an icy. <laughs> um, yeah, uh, I'm I'm so sick of the people who are just like bullies, like online bullies, just bullies in general. Um, there's no point in bullying back because that's not gonna end well for you. That's gonna make something bad happen to you because we're as Christians, we're supposed to know better. But we just pray for them, hope that God softens their hearts, and, um, fixes the situation. Because we want the best for them too, even though they don't want the best for us right now. But maybe in time they will, um, once their hearts change, stuff like that. And then we could all be friends and love each other, and it will be happy and good. <laughs> yeah, that sounds good to me. Um, I think I'm gonna check out a church while I'm here. Um, I know it's hard with in-person churches, but I'm specifically looking for a drummer or an aspiring drummer, someone who wants to be a drummer. And someone who wants to play guitar as well, because uh, I'm trying to figure out something where we could all be in the same place, practice, work side hustles, stuff like that, and um, um, and uh, yeah, guitarist, drummer, 
Um, I mean, it'd be great if you could play keyboard too, something like that. Um, I would really love a female vocalist someday. Um, I just, I know this, this is like so, it sounds crazy, but how are you going to get better if you don't have any time to get better? If you're working 40, 50 hours a week, how much time do you have to practice? Especially if you're going to the gym, if you're keeping yourself fit. How are you going to have any time to do that? Um, so you're going to have to either find a way that like everyone kind of stays and lives together and you all practice and uh, you all work, but you don't work all the time. Well, you do work all the time, but your work is music and side hustles. So that's that's where I'm going with this. Um, I believe, I believe um, God is doing something right now. I know he'll pull strings. He'll pull strings. There'll be there'll be ways that money will come in. There will be ways that um, I'll find the right people. Um, our our prices will go down in some way. There things will happen. I don't know how they'll happen, but they'll happen. Um, you know, like I don't know. They'll happen because God told me not to worry about money. Because to do God's work, you don't need money. I I, I don't know exactly what that means, but or he'll provide it. I don't, I didn't know. It seems like something like that, you know, like obviously we're going to need money in a way to survive, but if God, God will provide it. God will provide it. God will handle it. Um, and, uh, things will heat, heat up here, uh, when, uh, people start coming here for, uh, spring break and stuff. And then more money will come in because there'll be more business and stuff like that. Um, yeah, we, we'll make it through these two months. It might, it might be a bit of a struggle for these first two months. Um, but we'll, we'll make it. We'll, we'll definitely make it. I've got my investments, a pretty significant amount of investments. And we'll pull them out when necessary. And now I know why I made those investments. I know why now. I'm like, so, I get it, God. Thank you. That made no sense before, but now it makes sense. Um, everything's coming together. Just trust the process. Um, God is so good. He's so good. I've had dreams too while I was here and powerful dreams. I know what I'm going to do with my music. I, I know, I know. I just have to get good at music. I have to learn it. <laughs> but I know. I, I have, I have the ideas. I, I saw, it was like I saw myself in the future what I was going to do. And I'm like, okay, I get it now. And I'm starting to hear about people talking to famous people here, like my roommates and stuff. Like, oh yeah, we've talked to so-and-so, so-and-so. And, -so. and uh, I am going to be the person who does not give up on people. The same people that everyone gives up on, you know, oh, they're Illuminati, oh, they, they're this and that, oh, they sold their soul. That doesn't mean they can't be saved. Um, you know, they deserve to be told, repent and believe and you'll be saved as well. I'm not going to... Like I said, they don't got to do that, because they do. Um, but, um, yeah, uh, I believe that there's going to be some, some famous people that no one thought were going to be saved, they'll be saved. Um, I believe that. The same way people count out certain people, Satanists, etc., that I believe will be saved, um, you'll just see. Um, you'll see. That's what I believe. Um, there's not many, there's not, that's true, there's not many rich or whatever that are saved. That's always going to be the case. But that doesn't mean there can't be some that are. Um, and they'll have a strong responsibility because, well, they've got money. Now it's, is it their money? No, it's God's money. Um, what are you going to do with it? Are you, I mean, I thought, you know, I'll live a I'll live. I'll try to live maybe more like Asmongold a bit. I don't know if you guys have ever heard of him. He's like a Warcraft player. Well, I don't want to live the way that he's dirty and stuff. Like I would, I'd love to have a wife who would just clean my house. But he, uh, he's a minimalist. He's like a millionaire, I think. But he lives like he's like poor. He eats like five dollar steaks and uh, stuff like that. It's hilarious, actually. Some of the stuff. Um, He's a worldly guy, so he's going to cuss and stuff like that. But he's actually hilarious in some ways with stuff like that. Um, he's just a minimalist still. And uh, 
and if I get the opportunity to tell him about Jesus and stuff, that will be a great day. Um, because one thing we have in common is World of Warcraft, and uh, I don't plan on focusing on it because I'm doing my dream now, um, which doesn't really involve that heavily. Maybe every now and then I'll go there, but um, yeah, it's uh, that's gonna have to go for the most part to chase this dream. Um, yeah. Um, we're coming for you. All you people who don't want to hear the gospel, we're coming for you. God bless you all. In Jesus' name.